I'm so glad you clicked on this link. Welcome to the tutorial series for the Aliens Colonial Marine Armor. This is the final installment, part 3 of 3. In parts 1 and 2, we trimmed, painted, assembled, and weathered our armor, and made the cod plate. Now we continue the series by attaching the shoulder lamp, painting grenades, and customizing the armor using water slide decals. We're going to be mounting the shoulder lamp using large flush mount hangers. I picked these up at Lowe's. You can find them at Home Depot. This is what you want to get. You'll have an assortment of screws and you have two identical pieces that nest like this. So on my shoulder lamp kit, I shaved off the two little nubs that are here and this is going to mount Oops, somewhere around here. And then on the back plate armor, its mate is going to mount something here like this. So you're going to want to make sure that these brackets are side by side so that they meet up with the side by side brackets on your shoulder lamp. And to make sure they're secure, even though this armor is pretty thick, you're going to want to use a back plate. So I'm going to take these screws out and mount this piece of plastic in here behind there so that it's really, really biting down. So now we have double brackets, tongues facing down, double brackets, tongues facing up. And just go ahead and slip that onto there. Flip our switch on. And we've got a really super sturdy mount for that uh, shoulder lamp. These are water slide decals for Hicks and Hudson. These graphics don't complete the artwork for their entire armor, but they provide you with a significant and accurate head start. The Hicks armor utilizes a mini lock and hasp latch available at Home Depot. There's also a Chinese symbol for love on Hicks's backplate. In this tutorial, I'm recreating Hudson's unique armor. Some portions of the graffiti on his armor is hand-painted, showing here. You've got the Hudson on a clear sheet, and you've got the eyes and the skull and crossbones on a white decal sheet. So what you need to do is on the white sheet, you've got to cut away. I'm just going to do it roughly with scissors for now, but you're going to want to grab an X-Acto knife for some of these detailed areas around the bones and really get this trimmed right on the black line. Down here. So here's your skull and crossbones trimmed out. Here's your eyes. And with the stencil you don't have to be as careful because this is on clear paper so we're just going to go ahead and give it a trim close to the art like this and these are ready to go
when you're applying the skull and crossbones, it's a good idea to use microset to soften up this decal so that it starts adhering to the edges. So I'm going to put a little bit of microset brushed on here. And just got to got to be patient. It takes a while sometimes to soften up the decal, but it'll start adhering down. And then once that's set in, it's going to be clear matte coat just to get everything like um, just sealed in place so it's never going to come off. So I'm going to dull down this decal with a little bit of black spray paint. Just make it look a little bit more painted on. And I'm just kind of holding my can at a great distance and just sort of misting it. Now to make the bandoliers, you're going to want to start with 2 inch webbing, cut this to about 18 inches. You're going to loop over one end of it so that a 2 inch webbing belt can pass through the middle. And then on the other side, you're going to fold these over into a V. A 1 inch piece of webbing goes to the front of that to the back of it like this and then elastic is going to make your bandoliers here so you are going to end up with this so here's your one inch webbing and a buckle your two inch webbing there's a little loop here for the, the belt and then you've got elastic turn this sideways so you can see it so the elastic is sewn here into loops so that your grenades can pass into those sections. Your bandolier for one side. Clips up here at the top near the shoulder bells. Down here loops around your webbing belt. It's been quite a journey. Thanks for joining me on this tutorial series. It's appreciated that you support the arts. If you're interested in learning more, visit goldenarmor.com and click some of the links for more tutorials.